Right? That's it. Right, cool. Um, ah, uh -huh, your voice is in the video. Uh, Retro Paul, hello. Um, the missus was up in Edinburgh this week doing stuff, and I got her to go around the charity shops. Uh, completely forgot because uh, what did we do on Friday night? I can't remember. We just get fifth. Can't mind. We did something Friday night. I can't remember. But on a Saturday, she let me know what she got me, and fucking hell, she did a good job. Um, not a lot of PS2 stuff this time actually, but well, I'll start off my hero. Urban Strike on the Mega Drive. Uh, comes with instructions and cartridges and fucking beautiful Nick. And I love the, the Strike games. I've already got Jungle Strike. I think Monkey Spaz gave me it when he sold me his Mega Drive, but it was in shit condition, but it still plays, which was good. So, Urban Strike, good. Um, PS2, we've got Sonic Riders, again, complete. And Crash of the Titans. I, I might have this on Xbox. I don't know, but I've certainly got it for PS2, so that's good. Then on Xbox, all right, what's it? Right, Blood Omen 2, good. That is oh, oh, boxing complete as well. I think I've got I've got um, Soul Reaver 2 and I've got uh, Legacy of Cain on PS2. So I mean, these games are good. If you've not got them, get them. Right, Arx Fatalis. Hmm? I've never heard of it, but oh, it looks good. I might actually crack this on just after doing this video, but. I mean, it looks like it, you can tell when a game's of a better quality than because a lot of the PS2 games I pick up, they're in charge of for a quid and they're they're gash. You put them in and they're shit. They're they're untested, unplayable messes. Not all of them, but the ones the ones that are good are the ones I recognise. Um, what's it called? Sudeki. Hmm? Uh, hang on, down with the camera. <laughs> I thought I already had this, but it's not amongst my Xbox games, so, so maybe I didn't. Fucking shit, I've got it though. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I've got it. So it's two copies of that I've got now, but this one's in lovely condition. So good. Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Good. Jade Empire, that's a game I've got as well, but. Oh, it's got the receipt in it. Um, but the disc is slightly scratched. I've played it, and it, up until the point I played it, to, it works. But I get the impression that there will be a point where the game doesn't load. And then this one, oh, Morrowind. Oh, I love the Elder Scrolls series, and I have played this on PC back in the day. But when I played it, my PC was like so shit that I had to put all the settings in, and it didn't really work. So, and that is in mint condition as well. Well, I say mint. The oh, mind you, it's not too bad. Um. So that was an epic find. When I was at Blackpool, the Play Expo, they were selling this for 40 quid. I mean, the prices at Play were a bit sort of like, it was a captive audience, so they were kind of more expensive than you'd get. I mean, there was games they were selling there for like 30 quid that you can get on Amazon for like a fiver, and that's including postage. So I wasn't, that's why I never spent a lot of money there. Well, I did, but it was on drink. Um, so, I happy about that. So that's everything, I think. Um, but part two of this video is someone posed me the question recently, if you were stuck on a desert island with only one game, what would it be? What game would you choose? And I was going to sort of ask you guys the same question, but when I thought about it, I mean, my answer was um, Super Mario World for the SNES. But your game and what game you'd play depends on your mood. I think you just, unless you guys have got a favourite that you just go, yep, yeah, I know what game it would be. Like, I've got games in my collection that I love. Katamari Damacy, especially, and Castlevania 4 are two games that I love. But, right, the question I'm going to pose to you guys is, if you could take only three games for your collection, say someone's going to come and repossess them all, but you're allowed to keep three games, what would those three games be? You, you're going to keep the system, so it doesn't matter what system they're on, but what three games right now, if you, if you had to choose three and that was it, and the rest was going, what three games would you choose? My three would be, well, obviously, Super Mario World. I, I, I'll never get sick of playing that. It's never, I'll never get sick of playing that. Um, Fallout 3. I've sunk close to 700 hours into this game. Uh, I've played it through maybe three or four times. And I became obsessed with it at one point. Proper obsessed. And that's a game I'll be playing in future times. I kind of play it now because I know it so well that it, it's became a bit sort of tedious to play it. But I'm leaving off, I'm not touching it, leaving off it. And I'm going to wait until it gets to the point where I just all of a sudden go, I want to play Fallout. And then I'm going to get back into it. And the third game, not so much on this system, but... 
is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Eh, no Turbo, just Super Street Fighter 2. Uh, I've got the Xbox version, but it's in a collection pack, so I didn't really think that counted. But if I had it, if I could, if this, it would have to be this one, but it would either be the 3DO version or the version you got on Xbox. But yeah, so there's, I mean, a fighter, a platformer, and that. That game's amazing. If you've not played Fallout 3, fucking play it. It's better than Skyrim anyway, I think. Yeah, so let me know what your three games would be. Or don't, whatever. Got, I never got, the missus was away doing stuff for the wedding. Um, I'm not bore you with the details, but she was up in, in ugh, no, stop it, stop it. The missus was up in Edinburgh doing some stuff for the wedding. And... I got her to go in the charity shops, as I do when she goes somewhere other than uh, doing the thing. No, that's fucking shit as well, stop it. Uh, 